Okay, we're here at the North Star Games booth, and we're going to talk about evolution uh, with Mr. Luke Warren. Uh, it's a game about evolving uh, a variety of species. Uh, you can see here's the watering hole where you get food. Each player starts with a little board that represents one of their creatures, so you can see you're tracking population and body size, and then you have these circular tracks for the amount of food. And any food that you eat is going to go into uh, the bag here, so it's like a little hidden scoring uh, bag. And uh, and we have some awesome components. Uh, first one here is the start player marker, which is giant brontosaurus looking meeple, I guess you would call it. Uh, so Luke, you want to give us a quick rundown of the game and maybe a sort of a turn? Sure. Uh, Evolution is a game of, it's this, a game of dynamic tension with limited resources and hungry predators. And everybody's struggling for survival and, you know, trying to grow their species, increase their species, build an ecosystem, and basically out-survive their opponents. All right. Uh, the gameplay is relatively simple. It's a card-driven game. Um, so you play these as traits on your species, like cooperation, which allows you to, uh, when this species eats food, his friend to the right gets the food. Uh, we have a hard shell, which adds uh, kind of a, to your body size when you're being attacked. So it's harder for carnivores to, to attack you. Uh, so we have a variety of traits like that. Uh, there's fertile, which gives you a bonus population uh, when uh, the food phase comes around every turn. So these are the sorts of traits that you can play. Uh, there's also offensive traits. So if you're a carnivore, you can play the ambush card, which uh, negates a really strong defensive uh, card called warning call there's your carnivore card right there so when if you play that on your species now instead of eating food from the watering hole you attack other players and and uh, you get your food from eating other species um, so that's the basic uh, core of the game each trait each species can have three traits um, but the way you really score in this game is eating the most food so uh, you can, instead of playing cards for traits, you may discard them to move up population uh, or body size, which makes it harder for carnivores to attack you, um, or you can create a new species, all right? And then you can start playing traits on that species and increasing its body size and so on. Okay. And then um, uh, once everyone's made their, uh, played their turn, you go to the, the feeding phase, everyone has submitted a card face down for food, uh, and we add up those little numbers right there. Uh, so all, you add up, you know, if there's four players, it'll be four cards, you add it all up. And then we take the food from the food bank, we put it in the watering hole. This is the food that you can eat. Sometimes there's gonna be a lot of food in there. So uh, what's cool about this is sometimes there's gonna be a lot of food. In which case, everybody gets to eat, it's great, but sometimes there's a dearth of food. Right. Or uh, this food stays out from year to year if it hasn't get eaten, or turn to turn, I should say. Then what happens is everyone increases their population, they're gonna eat all this food, and then there's gonna end up no food. What happens there then, if you don't eat food equal to your population, is you drop your population down to whatever food you ate. So if I had two food, but four population, and there was no food left, I would lose two population to go down to two food. Okay. Once the feeding phase is over, you take your food, you put it in your little scoring bags, and we start the turn all over again. We draw new cards, and we proceed from there. Okay. And we play through a certain point in the deck, you said? Yeah, you just go through the deck, and uh, once you finish dealing out the deck, once you run out, you just reshuffle, finish the deal, and you play that last turn. All right. Uh, so it ends up being a really, it's a resource management game at its core, but with a lot of dynamic tension because people can become carnivores and then they're attacking your species, so you have to defend against that. Somebody in front of you has this big, like, uh, plant-eating ecosystem going on where he cooperates and they, they take he's taking a ton of food out of the middle not leaving any for you so you have to react to that um, you have to predict when the food's going to go uh, uh, south and then maybe you want to become a carnivore that turn because you don't think there's going to be enough food left uh, so on and so forth so uh, there's a lot of interesting dynamic play going on but at its core you're managing resources cool. um, so it's got a nice blend between that sort of euro and the more conflict uh, mm -hmm. driven game which you normally don't see in resource management games right right and you have these cool little player aids here that have the, uh, the different right. traits it's, yeah it's got uh, the basic rule uh, turn order and then uh, your trait cards right okay so you can read up on them and it gives you a little more explanation about what they do right. um, in case there's any questions but yeah there's all sorts of uh, interesting cards here these are 
uh, your basically traits that help you gain food or act defensively, you know, like climbing or defensive herding, but fat tissue is a card that allows you to get food more effectively. Um, scavenging allows you to eat meat food when carnivores attack somebody else, uh, so on and so forth. So, um, yeah, there's a lot of, I mean, this is our first strategy game. We normally have been on party games like Wits and Wagers and Say Anything. So, this is a a departure for us, but it's something that's been on our minds for a while. We're all strategy gamers at, at the company, and so we've really been waiting for the right time to do this. Uh, so we put this up on Kickstarter. It was very successful. We got over 2,400 backers. Um, so we were very excited about it. There seems to be a lot of buzz about this game. And it's going to be for sale here at the... the yeah, the pre-sales. Pre so people can get it pre-sales. Uh, so yeah, we asked people just come on down, booth 349 at Gen Con, check us out. Uh, we'll run through a game of Evolution. We even have a few uh, pre-ordered here. We've got the Kickstarter packs. Uh, so you can get the uh, the Kickstarter version of the game if okay. you order it here at the show. So uh, that's cool. That's again a little bonus for you know our supporters at Gen Con. So yeah, we're we're excited about it. I hope we get a lot of people come down and play it. Okay, thanks, Luke. Thank you.